Jersey you've always dreamed of wanting to. You finally saved enough money for it. Check out the team store just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Moves it to Saka. Good stand up hit on the play. Scrum ensues along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Gostas Bear. Quick pass to Wheeler. And cut that one out of the net. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Duke Nick's a very mobile goaltender, guys. We all know a good way to score is to get the goalie moving from side to side. But he keeps up with those cross crease attempts to shut down those great A scoring chances. That's his post to post zone ability, and it's really impressive to see. Quick feed to Kiki. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Wild have been called for tripping on the play. Guys, we know this penalty kill unit is ranked towards the bottom of the league, but they've got a chance here, a real great opportunity to turn things around. So let's see what can happen. incredible 20 already this play does not happen without that beautiful pass james it's all about reading where the coverage is and knowing exactly how your teammate can skate onto that puck and when you skate onto it you have some speed you can get that shot off the way you want and he capitalizes perfectly Boston's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Oh, he'll feel that one. Picked up along the boards by Carlo. Oh, he hammered him. Yeah, you got a sense this was coming. That's a dangerous play, James, and you can't have any of that in the game, in particular when you're the one who's just received it. You got a player down, he's injured. You knew that was going to be answered for. takedown and that'll bring this one to an end yeah gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice and he's going to be the victor in this one tough to watch fighting but sometimes when it's a tilt on the road and you're a winner it creates a ton of momentum 
Well, with all that said and done with, we still got a game to play and face off here set to resume action. The Bruins win it in the defensive zone. Picked up along the wall by McAvoy. Devastating collision. Puck scooped up by Gostas Bear. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. He says, let's get physical on that play. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Well, goaltenders can't make the save if they can't get in front of the puck, James, so he anticipates this so well. But it's also skating. That power push cross crease makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Coyle. The Bruins will play from the defensive zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Here's a short pass to Kane. Centering pass! And he denies that great opportunity there. Boston's gained the line and into the zone. Dubnik's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Bruins have taken a 1-0 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Let's it fly! And he had the answer on that one. And that pass is redirected. Steps across the blue line. And a little body contact on that play. The Bruins will play it in their own end. And he connects with the long bomb. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Scantilla. Minnesota's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, you're doing a great job of taking away passes. Moves it quickly over to Enroth. Minnesota's on the attack. And that's blocked from someone in front. Battle along the boards. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Past the midway mark in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Misses wide of the net. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often, and he just sails it and misses the net. Stop by the goaltender. A player should never be left alone in this slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Enros taking it from his own end. And he takes the feed. Give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Michaels won the draw and they'll look to set up. Fires it! to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Pasternak's really able to pick his spot when the puck is flat and ready to be fired. Guys, that's what we like to call his snipe zone ability. Michael's dangerous when he gets in one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, guys. His all-alone zone ability means he's got the edge on the breakaway. Look to one of these players to be a difference maker in this one. Back up to the booth. Boom! Comes up with a monster save in front. Sends a pass over from the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. of this period. The Bruins lead it 1-0. Boston's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Sends the pass across the ice. 
Poked away in the neutral zone by Niskanen. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. The centerman glide into position. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Slides the puck over to Kane. And now it's taken by Niskanen. Dismiss that chance. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Oh, missed on the one-timer, and what a blast that was! Uh, you can see how frustrated he is, but first of all, James, how is he that wide open? You know that's his wheelhouse. It's a perfect setup. The opponent, they're lucky that he just misses. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denies him! He got all of it! That opportunity's rejected. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Makes his presence known on the ice. Turned aside by Dubnik. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. There's another for the hit parade. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action, stick around. McNabb's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier. coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. Fires it into the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Moves it to Stevenson. Sends it in front. Misses. Angles it over to Johns. Quick pass to Michael. That knocks him off the puck. And he sends it across to Enrod. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Sends it in front, and that carries off a twig in front of the net. The Bruins have it from their own end. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Michaels made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. Takes it from the right side. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Center and feed! And that goes off a stick and off target. Here's a blast! Oh, oh, oh. Rask's known to shut down one-timers because he's so good at reading the play and anticipating the shot, guys. We call this his no-timer zone ability, and it's what really helps him come up with those big saves.
Wild have come to play tonight. These are two great teams going head to head and it's an open up game back and forth action and you can feel the energy in the building. It's fast paced, it's electric in there. Quick pass to Clutterbuck. He grabs the puck here at the point. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Clutterbuck's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. We're still in the early stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Quick feed to Silverberg. Here's a shot. Oh, that's blocked. What a stop by Rask. We'll get a face off after the puck stays. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We got a tie game. Niederreiters won the face off here in the offensive zone. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Rask opted to hang on to the puck for a face off. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. The Bruins win the defensive zone faceoff. Takes the feed from his own end. Fantastic stick save by Dubnik. When that shot came quick and it was... The score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Boston's gone up by one here in the second period. Now, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Coyle's taking it from his own end. They've got numbers here. Sits it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Levels him with the hit. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle, and he dies on his stick. They score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of a momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Well, you don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. The Bruins are clicking on all cylinders tonight. Now up by a pair here in the first half of the second. Well, it's deserved, James. I mean, they've competed in all areas of the ice. They put the and they've been rewarded for their efforts. Why? Coaches often measure scoring chances, and he does a real good job to get to that spot, but he will be disappointed. It's so difficult to get to, you want to convert when you get there. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Champion. Into the corner of the attacking area, and he loses control of the puck. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Handles the pass. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. And now he moves it quickly to Pasternak. The Bruins take it along the wall. Right on the doorstep. Big time stop. Dubnik is able to square up to the shooter right here who's in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. Tried to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Wow, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from Buck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Makes it look easy with the stop. Zaka is back on the ice after serving a five-minute major for fighting, and he had an opportunity to rest and relax in the box, as sometimes fighting can take a lot out of you. He steps on the ice and gets a great scoring chance. His time is better served on the ice.
Boston's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. Niederreiter's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Handles the pass at center. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Boston's got the puck in their own end. And now it's grabbed by Parisi. And he slides it quickly to Pominville. Slides it over to Kiki. Works it across to Coyle. He got all of that hit. Big time collision, and look at that. He landed right on his own bench. Well, you know that the one giving the hit likes this to send a message, send it right over the board into the laps of your teammates. It's embarrassing either way, no question, that you got off your feet and you wound up on your bench. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And that's broken up. Great four check by Niskanen. Here they come on the attack. Steps in front of that one. Minnesota's got the puck. Into the offensive end now. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Looks to make a play over to Lindholm. Jabs the puck away. There's an injection of energy with that hit. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it to Michael. Handles the pass from the right wing. Moves the puck to Champion. And sends it just out of reach. Moves the pass in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Here in the late goings of the period, Boston's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this season. Off the face off, they take the puck. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. The Bruins probably don't want this period to end given the way things have played out here tonight. 100% agree with you. They got the mojo, they're moving the puck, they've got a comfortable lead. The last thing they want to do is have an intermission which can pause and give their opponent some rest that they need. Oh, big time hit him off the wall and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those words either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Clutterbuck's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. He just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah, don't like seeing that at all. The Wild have possession along the boards. Tremendous hit on the play, and that opens up some space. Shot! Big time stop there. Ross has been strong in the net tonight, and his save percentage is really high, James, and it's because he's faced a high volume of shots and he's been dialed in and able to make the saves. That gives his team confidence, and they've been consistent as well, and they've done the job on the other side of the puck. Fanek's in a lot of pain here, James. You can see it in his face as he's hobbling and laboring, trying to get back to the bench. Anytime you're injured, you want to know exactly where the play is. You don't want to put your team in a vulnerable spot, but you got to get off. The Bruins are on cruise control here late in the second. Simply look at the scoreboard, the shot count. It is all one-sided. out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Let's move to the middle! The shot! Oh, what a stop by Rack! Oh, making his presence felt with the hit! Lots of time left in this 
first period. The Bruins lead at 4-1. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Turn that chance aside. Takes the pass in the offensive zone. Hammers one. And that's blocked away. Rask's got the puck, and we'll get a whistle here in the stoppage of play. Well, and this is a smart play, James. He's made huge saves all through the game, and this is a smart decision to be able to preserve the lead. He knows exactly where he's at, and he gets a much-needed face-off. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. in this period. Minnesota still down by two goals in this one. Boston's got a hold of the puck. They go on the attack through center. Pokes it away in his own end. Gets the puck in deep. Can't keep a hold of it. Grizzlick's got a hold of the puck behind his own cage. And that's just out of reach. Good stand-up hit. Carries it across the line. Quick shot! That eyes him on the play. Feeds the puck to Frederick. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Stahl. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Oh, smart heads up Reed. Here's a chance, sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Minnesota's had a lot to like about their game tonight. Decided advantage in the shot department, but they still trail here in the third. Uh, okay, Michaels won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Great reach by Johns. Blast from the blue line, and that's wide of the net. It's a real skill to be accurate and have a heavy shot, and right now it's just a heavy one that whistles wide. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It's a two-goal lead here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. The Bruins win the draw. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick pass to Wheeler. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. his head up, James. I mean, he calls that into our hometown player, and the crowd is frustrated, and they're booing every time he touches the puck. Looks like lineups are set, and they're ready to get things back underway. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Quick feed to Crosser. Of his game. The 
The Bruins start with the puck in the road end. And that's off target as it hits a body. Slides it back to the blue line. Centering feed! And that's intercepted. Along the right wall, and into the offensive end. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Now a quick pass to Scandella. Uses the force on that hit. And he uses, here we go, two on one. There's the whistle as the rush comes to an end offside the call. Minnesota's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Boston's won the draw in the neutral zone. There's another hit, and you get a sense that this was a game plan to go after him tonight here, Cheryl. Well, he certainly has a bullseye or target on his back, James. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The Wild have to kill off the next two minutes as they have been handed a charging penalty. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Here's a short pass to Niskanen. Oh, a huge hit against the wall. And you know you felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically. Pay the price. Use your body and get the puck. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Big stop right there. Wait, wait, no, it's in. It's in the net. It's in the net. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Get another one here to the total tonight. I mean, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. He got all of that one. And he puts it away to make the save. Takes the feed. From the point, looks to make something happen. Great love save. Minnesota's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Boston's got the win off that draw. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Uh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve Fox. And man, can they deliver bone-crushing hits. Well past the midway mark of this period. Fans being treated to an awful lot of lamp lighting tonight. It's 5-2. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. He got all of that one. What a chance, but can't finish. Well, you got to make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. Boston's got it on the line. Tries to feed it over to Grizzly. Puck grab by Johns. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Fires it on net, denies 
him with the pad. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Bruins ready to go on the attack. Trust that puck tight to his chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. McAvoy's been shaken up after that hit. I mean, he goes down to the ice right through the body. You feel the effects, especially right from your skates, right through your head. That's a tough one to take. Carla Payne is standing by with who she thought had the better performance. Michaels helped his team out by getting in on the scoring. He's had the stronger performance, in my opinion, guys. Puck picked up by Prosser. And now it's to Silverberg. Minnesota's looking to break out. And now he tries to get it across to Kane. Here's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Rask. The Senators are up next, according to the league's schedule makers. A no-love loss between these two sides. Tickets still available. Should be a good one. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's been leading in the shot department most of the night, but they continue to trail here late in the third. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. Looks to pass it to Pasternak. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Niskanen. Stops him cold. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Boston's got a 5-2 lead. Final minute of regulation here, and it should be it. Nice zone entry from the left. Quick pass across to Carlo. Oh, big time save by Dubnik. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. are lined up and we are ready to resume. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Goaltender covers up, we got a stoppage in play. Minnesota's got it and they're on the attack. Takes the shot. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Minnesota's got to start to recognize a sense of urgency here. They continue to trail late in the third and have had plenty of chances, but can't finish. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Big hit, and that frees up possession. is all over as the final horn sounds. Well, if there was ever a team that needed a win, it was this one tonight. Yeah, and I mean, they played to their strengths finally, James, and it was a full 60, and it was consistent. It's a the reason they got the W, but now they're going to have to layer it and find ways to build energy and momentum off of this win. The streak finally ends. Well, hope to see you down the road real soon as we say goodbye here from ringside tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.